For many people, mental health continues to be a struggle through the COVID-19 pandemic. As LEX 18's Jacqueline Nye reports, even though the demand for therapy sessions is greater, the ability to pay for it has continued to decrease. A licensed clinical psychologist and assistant psychology professor at UK says that people's interest in therapy had already started before the pandemic began. As it becomes less stigmatized to seek help, people have been more inclined um, to reach out and find a therapist. But as COVID-19 has continued to keep the country shut down, the need for therapy has gone up. All of the uncertainty that comes with not knowing how long this is going to last, uncertainty about job security, food security, and the uncertainty of some people's paychecks has led them to be unable to afford the mental health help they need. Cost is really difficult because providers have families and livelihoods too, right? We need to be able to charge for our services. Um, and so that becomes I mean, it becomes really tough. The licensed clinical psychologist suggests alternative ways to help your mental health, such as self-help books, clinical trials, or seeking treatment from a training program for professional students. Not everybody needs a, you know, sort of one-on-one -on -one therapy to be able to um, benefit from psychological intervention. In Lexington, Jacqueline Nye, LEX 18 News.